Hi, my name is Bob. This is my Oorang Airedale Oakley. And uh, tomorrow I'm going in for a radical prostatectomy uh, for prostate cancer. I figured I'd make this video the first in a series of videos telling you about my experiences with it and hopefully will help out other men who might be facing the same situation. I'm located here in uh, San Diego and uh, I'm a member of the uh, Kaiser Foundation and I'm just lucky enough to say that uh, they offered uh, numerous um, treatment methods uh, to choose from and uh, the choice is something that each individual has to make because it's based on a number of factors. Uh, I chose what I consider uh, the best method for me and probably the main reason for it is because my dad lived to be 93 and I'm 63 now and my mom lived in her 80s and so I think hopefully I have a number of years ahead of me and uh, I think uh, getting the uh, the surgery for me is the best bet of beating this cancer. And uh, unfortunately the downside is it is uh, probably one of the most stressful. Uh, there's three different types of surgery and I'm going for the robotic um, radical prostatectomy. And uh, from what I understand and from my research, uh, the other two open surgeries and the laparoscopic surgery and the robotic surgery, actually four then if you count them all, uh, the outcomes um, are pretty much the same from all of them, but the laparoscopic and the robotic have the big advantage in that uh, the healing time is much quicker, uh, the recovery time and the uh, uh, after surgery uh, discomfort is much less because of the way the procedure is set up. Now naturally also the, the other options I had were um, two different types of radiation, open beam radiation and seed implant implantation. The other options besides the surgery um, were uh, the, I forgot what it was now, hormone therapy and then the two different types of radiation, the open beam radiation and the seed implantation. And that one of the support groups I went to, I'd say there's probably were maybe 10% of the people who were there were on what's called the watchful waiting program. In other words, they were monitoring because this type of cancer is very slow growing. And uh, a, a large number of people with this actually are going to pass away from something else other than the cancer. So the watchful waiting people are just uh, keeping an eye on it, getting PSA tests every three or six months, and then once a year, um, perhaps getting a, another biopsy, which is really no big deal, and watching the progress, and if, if it stays about the same, they save themselves from all the after effects from all these treatments, as well as the stress of the, having the treatment itself.